peace be with you welcome back to my channel for another video another spiritual download if this is the first time that you are coming across my channel let me be the first to say hey there hi there hello there come on in have a seat stand up sit down whatever you feel you need to do nine times out of ten me my spirit team my divine ancestors there's a high probability that we will support you in the energy. Nevertheless, peace be with you. Come on in here. Discern what you shall. Leave what you shan't. Do what you can. And whatever you can't, just leave it for somebody else to take. Maybe sometimes it's a little easier that way, right? By way of processing the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you. Most high God. Nevertheless, if you're returning back to the channel... You already know we can, we will, so we shall bring the truth by way of clarity. Come on in here and get the spiritual work. Listen, let's just go ahead and get right into the download, y'all. Listen, take what resonates, leave the rest. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Make it easy, easy peasy, nice and greasy. I always like to say, or we might be able to keep it a little cheesy, okay? I heard somebody's going broke, baby, trying to stop you, okay? Whoever this person is, they're obsessed with your energy. This is not anything new to us, okay? There are no elements of surprises here because it's the same redundant, dried out, crackled up ass energy. Somebody really wants to be you and somebody's not going to stop until they try to get your destiny okay so if your feet have been itching or your feet have been burning somebody wants to wear your shoes somebody wants to walk in your uh path or on your path and in your destiny rather nevertheless let's go ahead and just get this spiritual work holy spirit please put a shield of protection around me please close any doors that do not need to be open anybody trying to i spy we spy siphon energy whatever this is that anybody tries to do that they are failing at <laughs> notoriously a failure i just heard okay listen somebody's going broke show me this person i channeled a queen of wands earlier you could be a queen of wands they could be a queen of wands archangel michael please and thank you ace of pentacles okay so somebody wants your uh energy your star status your beautiful energy i feel like you're too smart for this person somebody's angry because you're outsmarting them queen of swords is like High level intellect, somebody that understands the art of war, somebody understands um, magic, somebody is dismantling somebody's illusions. It's like somebody needs you to be a certain way, be seen a certain way so that they can try to be a better version of you. Okay, again, redundant energy, right? Ace of Pentacles, this is you, divine collective, okay? Heavy on the divine feminine energy, could be a divine masculine. Eight of Wands represents something coming in very quickly for you. Queen of Swords, this could be somebody that you cut off, somebody that you felt um, intuitively that you needed to let go. Now, by way of zodiac signs, by way of elements, Eight of Wands is the Sagittarius card. Queen of Swords obviously is Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini. Somebody wanted everything about your personality, honey. Somebody just wanted every little piece of you, <laughs> every little bit of you, and they're failing. Somebody's going broke. The world um, gives me, you know what this gives me? Astro realm, astro body, astro protection, I just heard, okay? Also represents closing out a cycle. Show me this person. Ooh, show me this person. Somebody wanted your spiritual protection? Damn. How do you pray for that? How do you pray for somebody's spiritual protection? Okay. Well, listen. Somebody absolutely did. Seven of Wands. Whatever this is, um, somebody could have come up against you and a lover. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Okay. Whatever this is, you and your divine masculine are transmuting the shit out of this freaking energy. Somebody hates the fact that you two are so very protected. This is giving me the two shall become one. Um, twin flame energy all day. Ooh, we. What does this person got going on? Ooh, we. These cards just fell off the top. Okay, yeah, somebody's going broke. I can't make it up. Look, that's so funny. I just said that. Toil and labor. Somebody's working their ass off, literally, 
Eight of Pentacles, there are no coincidence by way of how the cards fail. Four of Swords, this person could be struggling with their health or have some type of terminal illness, okay? Five of Pentacles, somebody's literally going broke trying to stop you, literally, literally, okay? Show me this person. Expose this person, please and thank you. Show me this person. I just heard near-death experience. I don't know why I heard that. Near-death experience. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Who's this person? Who's this person? Somebody's going broke trying to stop you. Um, possibly from coming into some type of union. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you and have a second chance. Okay, so this is giving me, I don't know what this is. This could be an ex-lover, ex-friend. Somebody wants to do everything they possibly can to get you back to no avail. Something's just not working in somebody's favor and they know it, okay? The fool is somebody hanging on to like a little thread of faith, a mustard seed of faith. Somebody's really like hoping to get another chance with you this person could be trying to astral project over you okay i just heard astral body astral projecting so somebody could be doing something in the dream state or when your physical body is resting to try to pull at you or get you to come back or something that they need you for okay it's giving sacrificial energy nevertheless nine of cups is in the reverse where else would the nine of cups be in the reverse when it comes to this weird ass person okay somebody does not like the fact that you've healed they could have wished sickness death on you um six of swords is sailing to calmer waters it's also a healing card nine times out of ten the four of swords in my opinion represents thinking healing resting restoration okay but somebody can't heal from something they're in the five of pentacles somebody could need you to heal somebody saying i need your healing properties something about your dna something about your bloodline something about your healing properties i just heard I just heard time's almost up. Show me this person. Who's this person? What do they got going on? Time's almost up. Yeah. Time's almost up. You're coming into union with somebody. This like breaks a spell or something. I don't know if they tried to bind you. And it's like only true love could break this spell. Whatever this is, time's almost up. Two of cups. You're coming into union with somebody. You're getting married or you're already married or whatever this is. Somebody's already connected and or one with somebody on a spiritual level. Ace of Cups. Okay. This is you reuniting with. Um, I just heard a lost soulmate. This could be like a previous life type of an energy. Hold on, y'all. Let me scoot this back. Just feel like I need more space. Room and opportunity here for my cards thank you for being so patient with me listen somebody is like um running out of time they're running out of time nine of cups their wishes didn't get fulfilled what did they do show me this person what did they do spirit show me this person they're not really coming up here strong in the energy so i feel like somebody's like in a tower like either they're just Somebody is either running out of time or they've run out of time. Yeah. To hold on to you. Yeah, you intuitively know this. Okay, you could be getting intuitive nudges, letting you know that somebody's still trying to be up all up in your energy. And you're rejecting this person. Four of Pentacles. Whoever you and your partner are, you're coming up as the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. This is a divine union. Okay, the Most High is involved. This is protected. Somebody could have tried to attack this union so you could not get this offer. The Hierophant, marriage. Not only that, two very um, high vibrational spiritual people.
somebody is really, really out of time. Whatever this was, if it had some type of time limit on it or they were supposed to do something to you within a certain amount of time, time is up. Time's up. Somebody could be begging for more time. I don't know if that's in life, on the planet, or with you to get you back or something. I don't know. Somebody's run out of time for a pentacle. Somebody was trying to hold you back from getting some type of wish fulfillment. When I think Ace of Cups and the Hierophant, I think marriage, I think God, I think holy matrimony, I think friendship, I think twin flames, I think high level, high vibrational twin flames. Whoever you are, you and your twin transmuted the shit out of this energy, baby. Somebody was trying to attack this union, toil and labor, working hard, working, working, working day and mother freaking night to try to hold on to you. Okay, you intuitively know this. You can feel it. Okay, your person could be coming up as a King of Wands. Okay, who's this King of Wands, Archangel Michael? Because I had channeled a Queen of Wands earlier, y'all. I don't know why, but I'm like, maybe this is happening to a Queen of Wands. I'm very Queen of Wandish today, just so you know. <laughs> I'm feeling very fiery. I'm feeling very Sagittarius, Aries, and or Leo on this particular day. Listen, who is this King of Wands, honey? Show us, Spirit. Archangel Michael, please, and thank you. Okay, somebody was using mirrors as a portal. I just heard that real clear. Astral projection. The truth, okay? Something about the truth. The truth, the truth, the truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody wants to tell you the truth. The truth is being exposed. I'm getting a yes. Who is this person? You could also have a partner that now knows the truth about you, that you are their person. Okay, whatever this is. Why is that Ace of Swords here? Archangel Michael, please, and thank you for the King of Wands. Okay, it landed right on top of the Four of Pentacles, which concerns me. And it landed right on top of the Five of Pentacles, Four, Five. So something's in divine order. Somebody's going broke trying to stop you. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. Okay, so what we have here is a classic case of somebody that does not want to let you go, okay? They could have wished upon something, wishing, channeling energy for you not to come into some type of a union so they could hold you back, okay? Stop you from some type of a transformation and getting to this emperor energy. Something about the emperor energy, Somebody wants to appear to be your person, okay? The death card represents transformation. It landed right on top of the four of pentacles or five of pentacles. Somebody wanted you to get left out in the cold by an offer from somebody new. Ace of Cups is a new situation, okay? Your person could be a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, even though they're coming up as a King of Swords, Queen of Swords. They could be a King of Wands, Aries, fiery. Something about them is very attractive, boss-like energy, stable, a leader, a boss. Somebody's financially stable, very handsome, very well endowed, okay? This person could be of another race. Okay, like not black, in my opinion, because I'm what that would be of another race other than what I am. Okay, <laughs> um, or they just have this this uh appearance of being culturally mixed or something to that extent. Something's really, really uh distinguishing about somebody. This is a distinguished gentleman. Who is this person trying to hold you back? Somebody wanted to paint some type of an illusion, okay? Who is this person? Uncloak this energy, please, and thank you. Archangel Michael. Who is this person? Virgo energy, nine of pentacles. Yeah, somebody was painting some type of an illusion so that you could choose them. It's almost I'm getting like only one person is the right choice. And somebody was coming off like illusions. Ooh spooky like somebody was projecting I'm your one like trying to put you in some type of trance so that you could choose them 
But in reality, you know who the real choice is. Okay, somebody was working really hard to project some type of an illusion to get you to come back. Nine of Cups, their wish was not fulfilled. Something's not working. Somebody went broke, either paid somebody or for resources, materials, whatever this magic required, somebody's going broke or they've gone broke. Like somebody spent a lot of money for you. There was like a price, a dowry on your head to get you. I just heard eternal bride, seven of cups. Somebody wanted to appear to be like an option when really there's only one option. Seven of cups can also mean a lot of choices, okay? But there's only one right choice. That's what I'm getting. The fact that you're choosing the right person really has this person upset because this person cloaked is coming up as a king of wands, as a king of swords to the queen of swords. You're too smart. You're too intelligent. You could be an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. You're sharp. You're smart. Or you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Listen, seven of cups. Somebody was paying some type of an illusion. Nine of Pentacles. They wanted to slow down this offer. Virgo energy. Something about you being pure. Almost virgin-like. Okay? You could have purified your energy. You could be taking a vow of celibacy. You could be abstaining from, you know, toxic people, places, and things. Sometimes we're, you know, uh, yeah, you've gone through some type of major transformation. The star, heavy on the Aquarius energy. You could absolutely be an Aquarius, okay? Somebody's saying, I can't do this thing without you. You're like a huge piece to some type of puzzle, ritual, magic, something about you, this person needs. I don't know what this is. It's like, yeah, I cannot make it up. Somebody wanted you in confusion, indecisive, confused, thinking that somebody else was your person or something's really significant about you coming into some type of partnership. Like it's literally a part of your birthright, your divine contract, your spiritual contract, your purpose. Like you are supposed to be with somebody because they are a huge part of your destiny, a part of what you're supposed to do um, in the world. The natural world, the natural realm, the physical realm, the spiritual world needs two people to come together by way of a partnership in order to get something done by way of their own divine birthright. And the most high's hand is over this union. So somebody was really working hard, okay? Almost to the point that it made them sick. Somebody's sick to death. Literally, to, to trying to stop you from seeing what the choice was. But with the two of swords in the reverse, you woke up from some type of an illusion. And somebody's pissed off. Somebody went broke. Somebody's like, this has got to work because they need you. What do they need you for? Archangel Michael, show me what I need to see. Yeah, three of cups. They need you for like, the three of cups in the reverse is like, um... I just heard somebody say they'll kill you and make another one just like you. Okay, so somebody needed your soul, honey. <laughs> what in the world is, what in the world I, hell is going on here? Listen, somebody needed you for something that they were trying to do. Seven of Pentacles is past investments, but this is giving me current energy. Like currently, it's like you're the last final spiritual ingredient. Somebody needed you to be a part of whatever they're trying to create. I feel like make another version of you, Empress Energy. But you turn this person down. And you're like, no, my soul is not for sale. You're going towards some type of union. There's marriage involved. And the both of you are coming up as the high priestess, transmuting the hell about some energy with the world. You know what it's giving me? I think astral projection. I think astral body. 
you and this new person, even if you've not come into contact yet, you don't know who your person is as of yet, you are already connected in the physical body. If you feel like somebody's fighting for you in the physical, spiritual realm, you're absolutely correct. It's like two people that are one soul that have to be put together. And then you have these weird ass occurrences that are coming in between this union. Okay, illusions. Somebody's praying for death. Somebody's praying for sickness. Somebody's working really, really hard. Also, you don't get this. And with the eight of wands, it's giving me fast, quick, quick, fast. I need this to happen quick. Somebody wanted a catastrophe to happen fast for you. Wow. Three of Cups in the reverse is like, um, normally that would be infidelity. Maybe somebody's with somebody else. I don't know what this is because it doesn't look like you're in a relationship with anybody. But the Three of Cups in the reverse is like somebody that's celebrated too soon, in my opinion. Normally it's third party situation, but I feel like whoever was involved, their celebration, they're not celebrating. Three of Cups in the reverse is like, there's no celebration. There's no victory. Nine of Cups is like the wishes did not get fulfilled. Something did not pan out the way these people thought. Show me these people. Because I feel like they're cloaked. I can't make it up. Look, heartbroken. Seven of, seven of Swords is sneaky and deceptive. Three of Swords is heartbreak. Chaos. Losing it. Going crazy. Don't know which way to go. Listen, somebody tried it. Somebody went broke. Somebody absolutely went broke. Okay? I just heard the last and final try. Somebody went broke. I can't make it up. They did some type of love spell, but it's like they needed you to try to make another version of you. It's almost like destiny swap energy for some ex-partner or person or whatever this is, third party situation. But it's like your spirit and your soul is not for sale. Like what the hell are y'all talking about? Somebody is in a five of pentacles. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Wishes are not getting fulfilled. They can't manifest. Eight of Swords. Somebody's stuck between the ethers. Stuck in some type of dark ass realm. It's giving Bermuda Triangle energy. It's giving dark hole. It's giving like no life. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I mean, I don't even know. What, what is, show me these people. Because somebody was really trying hard. Somebody could have been praying for like... I just heard 19 days straight, yeah, to try to make something come to pass. Somebody has no power. It's like you're the final ingredient. You're coming up as the empress and the emperor. And now that you are coming into some type of union with your person, somebody's grieving the loss of a missed opportunity. It's like I think when this person realized that you weren't coming back to them, not a wands. Okay, somebody needed to have sex with you in order to get into your energy. I feel like when this person realized that you weren't coming back to them, okay, they then try to create another version of you or something to that extent. Y'all hold on, my cards got all twisted up. I don't know how, but yeah, somebody wanted your power. Now somebody's been like dethroned, depowered devalued like there's no value in this magic somebody wanted you in a state of complete and total utter confusion grief somebody wanted you to come back they needed you to be a part of some type of ritual sacrifice okay maybe to stay alive because i'm hearing that song stand alive yeah stand alive stand alive ah 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 uh, staying alive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody said, you can tell by the way I walk. Yeah, somebody wanted to be a ladies man. Somebody wanted all the power, all the clout, all the attention. Something backfired. Epic mother freaking fail. So somebody could be trying to check on you energetically. To see if you're still alive after some type of dark ass energy they sent you, baby. And somebody can't even tap into your energy. Somebody don't have enough power to tap into your energy. This was it. 
I'm hearing all the downloads. This is it. Make no mistake with your heart. Yeah, somebody lost. Somebody lost a whole bunch. Somebody's in the five of pentacles. An ex-lover. You're like the final ingredient. It's like somebody needed your energy to either save a divine, I mean, not even a divine feminine. Let me just take that back. They could be trying to save a feminine in their family. Or a lover. Whatever this is. Somebody needed your energy, your spirit to save some feminine. Using you as a sacrifice, they could have something that belongs to you. Somebody could be. I just heard somebody was supposed to be dead. If it wasn't for your energy, they would be dead. Now they want to take you out. Hmm. Show me what I need to see, please, and thank you. Yeah, the Hierophant. Taurus energy, possibly. Why is that Hierophant here? Judgment. Whoever they had working for them, whatever this was, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, it's over. Somebody needed your essence, needed your energy, needed your health needed your power needed you yeah heavy on the scorpio energy okay so listen this is what's going on there's some weird stuff first of all i'm getting ancestral weirdo type stuff please i don't want to trigger anybody but somebody a masculine could have been sleeping with their cousin a feminine who they believed is a soulmate okay this is giving me kissing cousins type of an energy this person is dying from something. Could be bad karma, black magic. Something backfired on a feminine in this person's family. This is a karmic twin of yours. This person tried to sacrifice you to save this person. Okay? You could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Okay? Whatever this is, whatever hierophant they hired, whatever person they hired to try to save this family member or this partner or third party situation because the family member is coming up as a third party like they were cheating on you with a with a cousin. You could have said something like, "Ooh, you sure you and your cousin sure are close." Yeah, this person was sleeping with their cousin, a female. Something's wrong with the cousin. The cousin could be dying. Something's wrong with their stomach, their body, something. Okay? These people keep doing this over and over and over and over, but they're running out of time. Time is up. This person was supposed to have transitioned already. Somebody's afraid because of the karmic debt that they have attached to their life. Judgment. Somebody, somebody is like struggling, tormented. Something about your energy has gotten too pure. And it's almost like it poisoned this thief. Three of Swords, breakup, chaos. It's over. It's over. Somebody was sleeping with their cousin. It's a dark ass lineage. It's giving me color purple type energy. You know what I mean? Like weird stuff. Okay. These people are part of some type of dark ass cult. Dark magic, black magic, voodoo, Texas might be real significant. Okay. California could be very, very significant. Las Vegas is very, very significant. Somebody could be in a hospital. Somebody was trying to save a soulmate they thought was a soulmate, a lover. That's their cousin. And they were sacrificing you to do it. Wanted to take you out. You are, you were a sacrifice. It's over for somebody. Somebody's going to be grieving like they lost a lover. Whatever the hierophant is, death, scorpionic energy. I cannot make it up.
it's over. Piscean energy might be significant. I'm just getting like a family of females, of women, you know, with this slave <laughs> warlock, whatever this is, this person's like out fishing for women, out fishing for feminines to save these like group of feminines in the family. But one of them in particular, he's having sex with. Since they were children, they've been having sex. They're ashamed of this. There's some type of weird ass ritual going on in this family. There's nothing else to say about it. I don't want to trigger nobody. I can't make it up. Ten of Cups. Magic. Somebody's been doing magic over these people since they were children. Page of Cups in the reverse. It's almost like, uh, you know, they made these children numb to feelings. Somebody's numb to their feelings. Okay. Yeah, like they're numb to this type of mental control. Somebody's making them do this. Okay, they've been under control for a long time. Now they're well into adulthood. It's almost like for a while they didn't even think this was wrong. But now somebody's ass is under karma because somebody could have used their energy, their power. Okay, is what I'm getting. Somebody like an elder in the family could have used them to um, shield them from some type of karma. So they're the ones that are getting the karmic debt. But this person's a fisher. This person goes out and fishes for divine feminine energy to sacrifice. They could be in a relationship right now with somebody, but there's something about your energy, something about you they can't let go of. I can't make it up. This whole family is going broke. They went broke. Somebody, somebody spent their last damn dollar trying to stay alive trying to beat karma, trying to beat destiny. This is somebody's destined time to drop and die, period. Because of some dark ass energy in their lineage, sacrificial ass energy. Somebody's been doing this since they were children. Somebody likes to jump bodies. Somebody was determined to make this work. They were not giving up five of pentacles. They're broke. I just heard trying to make a dollar out of 15 cent. Knight of Wands. This cousin has been attached to all this person's relationships. That's This is all they do. There's been women that have been with this Knight of Wands that have not been able to figure this out. Somebody did a love spell on you. Look, Ace of Swords, this is the truth. Something about you knowing the truth. This person did a love spell on you to get you to come back because they needed your energy to go towards somebody that they believe is their soulmate, which is really their cousin. Somebody's in love with their cousin. Somebody's secretly having sex with their cousin. Now the cousin, they can't siphon energy and power anymore. Something about you being walking, breathing karma, okay? They can't siphon power anymore, boo. But somebody has something that belongs to you, okay? They absolutely tried to do something again to save this person. The emperor, yeah, they wanted you to uh, They wanted you to choose this person as your emperor. This person is everything, but I can't make it up. Death, I cannot make it up. Wherever the practitioner is, they're attached to death too. Somebody's birthday could be in April, Four of Cups, the Emperor, Aries Energy, Death. They hired somebody. I just heard severe judgment. They awakened your ancestors and your ancestors are, are going for blood. Like your ancestors just want catastrophe, poverty, blood, sickness, death. Back to back to back to back to back on these people. This is what they want. This is a dark ass lineage. This is a family that you never could have thrived in. You were the main course. You were, you know, they were planning to devour you piece by piece and limb by limb. This king of wands, knight of wands, or actually this ain't even a king of wands. They were cloaking themselves in king of wands energy. This is like a child. This is somebody that's just being used by the devil. This is somebody that's a pawn. There's somebody else more powerful behind this person. But with the strength in the reverse, the entire family, lineage, whatever this is, cult, coven, whatever this is. I just heard dark ass masons, abuse of power. They didn't lost all their power. 
brotherhood, something about a brotherhood, whatever this is, they lost all their power. They don't have no more power. They're all standing around holding on to this one little piece of clothing of yours or hair or shoe. Like this is sickening, disgusting energy. Somebody is literally standing around holding on to some little strand of hair that belong to you. They all trying to manifest money. They're in poverty. Somebody lost everything. I just heard frozen bank accounts. Ooh, wee. Death. Four of Cups, wishes not fulfilled. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Somebody missed an opportunity. Whoever this spiritual leader is, this Hierophant, this Aries, this person is the one that death is coming to faster. Because I feel like even though this family hired this person, this is somebody with a lot of power though. This is somebody that don't do any work for less than 50000 And when they say they're going to do something, they're going to kill you, they're going to do it. They, they wanted to kill you in the spirit, honey. I just heard astral body. Somebody wanted to kill you in the spirit and so that your physical body would follow. Somebody didn't know what the hell they was tapping into. Meanwhile, back in the divine ranch, on the divine astral plane, the most high says, who do you think I am with this ace of cups and this helping hand of the creator? Not only that, you have your soulmate yin and yang energy fighting for you in the spirit. Because things are coming up against the both of you. These people know that you have some type of divine union that is written and is a part of your destiny as you've had many, many lifetimes. Somebody knows that. Ace of Pentacle. They didn't know who he was. They didn't know who she was. They just knew that they needed to do some magic to try to stop this. And so they did. And the Most High says, let them. So here you are, two people. Somebody wanted you to miss an opportunity. You're coming into union with this person. Somebody wanted you separated by way of space, time, uh, across a body of water. This person could be at a distance. I don't even know if you know this person. Seven of Wands, y'all are very, very protected. Your ancestors want blood. His ancestors want blood. Ooh, we come through spirit. Empress to the emperor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Taking a leap of faith. Something about your prayers. Something about the both of you praying to the creator, not praying to one another, praying for one another, but praying to the creator and the creator saw fit to connect two people and said, who the heck going to take them apart? Your ancestors are angry. This Hierophant has no power. They could be sick. They could be in some type of, I don't know what the hell they got going on, but somebody's trying to control something that they can't control no more. Okay. Also, you don't take this leap of faith. Why is the fool there? Because they feel like fools. That's why. King of Cups. Somebody's mad. It's your faith that sustains you. It's your direct connection to source that has sustained you. Look, I can't make it up. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. They can't hold you back. You've been released from some type of dark ass soulmate, karmic soulmate that you, I don't know what the hell happened. Because I think at some point, there was a point to it all, right? To save this person, this family member. They kill people before in the spirit easily. This, is, this person's been doing this since they were children. All his girlfriends, all her boyfriends, they sacrifice them. They come up with these mysterious illnesses and all of a sudden they die. And so this cousin always gets the power, gets saved. Well, now, surprise, some mother freaking prize 2024 is standing on karmic spiritual business and somebody's ass can't save their own ass in the spirit realm and or in the physical world. Somebody need a damn commercial break. Listen, <laughs> I think the somebody is me. What the hell is going on? What the, what the, what the, what the, what the hell is going on? You know this. You know this. Maybe you needed additional confirmation. Maybe you just needed the pieces of the puzzle to be put together and, and, and things to come. Now you're like, oh, this makes sense. All of this, so you couldn't get your divine union, Ten of Pentacles, King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. I already know the Queen of Cups is going to come up. Four of Pentacles, somebody cannot hold on to you anymore. If they got a shoe, a scarf, a hat, a piece of clothing, a whatever the hell, somebody could have took a pair of your shoes so somebody could wear your shoes so they could feel what it felt like to be in your shoe. Whatever this is, somebody's time is up. 
Somebody's time is up. Somebody's got to release you. They already have four pentacles. They got to let you go. There was obsession upon obsession upon obsession in this entire group. Initially, this was supposed to be easy. They were celebrating three of cups in the reverse. Now they ain't got nothing to celebrate. Ain't nobody got no money to throw a celebration, to throw a party, to buy something to eat, nothing, gas money, nothing. Five of pentacles is poverty. For them and the practitioner, somebody that made a lot of money doing this type of work is now going completely and totally broke. Okay. These people became obsessed over you individually. Collectively, they wanted to look like they were working together, but all of them had their own ulterior motives, especially the person in the family. Show me this person in the family. Okay, she wanted your spiritual protection. She wanted to cloak herself in your energy. Seven of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune is somebody that wanted your luck, wanted your blessings, wanted your gifts, wanted to be a part of your lineage. Somebody wanted to tap into your bloodline, honey. Hoping you'd never figure it out. Show me this person. Archangel Michael, current energy, please. And thank you. Uncloak it. What is that? Ten of Pentacles. I can't make it up. They wanted your gifts. They wanted your prosperity. Somebody wanted your destiny. Now, at first, it was just supposed to be an easy sacrifice, an easy kill. Somebody went back to the drawing board and was like, okay, let's reconsider this because this person's energy is like gold. We didn't already try to kill her a whole bunch of times. We can't kill her. We can't kill him. We need to rethink this thing. So individually, this practitioner became obsessed with you. They wanted you for themselves. This knight of wands, king of wands, whatever they were trying to do, they just wanted to appear to be your person so that you would come back to them so that they could be in this position. They were never destined to be with you. Somebody wanted you confused about who was your person. They wanted you to be confused, indecisive, okay? They hate the fact that you know. Somebody's like, this mother knows. You're like, well, you know, I just be knowing some shit, period. Listen, you're the high priestess. <laughs> Anything else I need to see? I just heard this person don't have a lot of time. The chariot. Something's going quick for this person. Mm -hmm. Something, Something's happening real quick, okay? This person's obsessed with you. Whoever this feminine is that they were trying to get her to wear your energy, wear your skin, wear your destiny, whatever this is, something's coming in way too fast for anybody to think about what to do. And they don't have any money. The chariot. Cancerian energy, okay? Show me what I need to see, please and thank you. Somebody's obsessed. Three of Cups, yeah, they're in the middle of all this person's relationships, okay? Three of Cups. Somebody could have tried to put something in your cup. Three of Cups. This has always been the interference between you and whoever this ex person was that you are clearly not with anymore because you're in the Queen of Swords energy. You're sharp, you're smart, you get it. This person could have sent people towards you to try to confuse you. Could have sent fake lovers, partners towards you. Okay. Two of Cups, Gemini energy. This person really believed that they were you, toil and labor. They was working real hard. Sending somebody towards you to try to stop you. Five of Cups, grief. Somebody's planning for a funeral. Somebody's planning for their own demise. It's. I feel like it's several people in this group. Yeah. This is over. Somebody's so angry that you're getting some type of freedom from them. It's like a family full of vampires. Somebody's crying, give me my power back. As if they forgot that they're not you. Like somebody's really delusional. Third party situation, okay? I feel like this person somehow, even though somebody's in their family, they could have had karmic exes involved. It's like a group of karmic exes all trying to eat off of your energy, you know, kind of in a trance, weird ass energy. The karmic ass cousin, sister, friend, you know, lover, ancestral, whatever the hell this is. 
BS is controlling all of the girlfriends of this person that they've ever had. Okay. They putting stuff in people's cup. Y'all nasty. Show me what I need to see. Yeah, you like the only one that was like, I'm not about to be a part of y'all weird ass family. You like, mm -mm, what is this? Show me what I need to see. Please and thank you. You broke the case. I just heard. You broke the case. They're scared. They're terrified. Terrified. You understand me? They're like, what type of bloodline is this exactly? Somebody's got to release you. They ain't got to do a damn thing. They're going to. They have already. Somebody's already lost. It's only a matter of time. Four of Pentacles in the reverse is like cutting a tie. Like, you know, so if you were feeling something weird when you were with this masculine, it's because whoever this person was, they were trying to have sex with the masculine through your body. Weird sex, dark ass shit. Okay. And I'm just going to call it how I see it. Period. Period. Somebody wanted to wear your skin. Somebody wanted to be you. Then they wanted to eliminate you. You got a whole bunch of third party, third party, third party. And then you got whoever your ex masculine is and his cousin pulling the strings on all of the karmic exes he's ever had in his life. And they all now wanted to devour you. So somehow energetically, they're using their energy, using their whatever this is. Okay. Whoever this person is currently with, they could be dying. Some black magic backfire. If this Knight of Wands is in a relationship, this person is dying. A slow death. Two of Pentacles. They don't know what to do. Somebody's eyes are going back and forth, back and forth. Like, oh, what do I do? Okay, I don't know. Uh, what do we... Uh, they're all over the place. This has never happened to them. Nine of Swords. Sleepless nights. Distress. Suicidal. Homicidal. Crazy. Arguing. Fighting. Don't know what the hell to do. And you got the nerve to come into union with your, your true divine person. Or you will be. Somebody's across a body of water. Six of swords. You healed. Show me what else I need to see. Somebody ain't never had energy like yours. Like something about your energy is pure. Very, very pure. Toil and labor. Do you understand me? These people gave up everything. Whoever this Hierophant is, they could have gotten other people involved. Yeah, look. The star in the reverse. False twin flame. Whoever this person is, the hermit. Somebody wanted your intuition blocked. Four of wands in the reverse. This is a karmic soulmate. Somebody bound to the devil, attached to the devil. Nine of swords, depression, bipolar energy all over the place. Just schizo, crazy, cuckoo. But in reality, it's demonic forces running up and in and out of these people. Listen, they're, they're harvesting some type of demonic ass energy. I just heard hosting. Good Lord, Jesus. Shepherds for the devil. The hermit. These people's intuitions are blocked. What they wanted for you is now what they have, okay? Four of wands, ain't nothing but karmic lovers in this whole group. Whatever this is, these people did some weird stuff. They have done some dark ass magic and the fact that you are exposing their family, this incest, the uncle, the auntie, the cousins, whatever this is, ooh, Lord, it's wicked. Honey, 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 okay? The star in the reverse is like, something's not getting fulfilled it's not their destiny what are they working towards nothing somebody's working for nothing seven of cups under some type of an illusion somebody could have some type of an addictions if not they will somebody needs somebody is like give me a drink <laughs> somebody is like i can't feel this in in a, in a sober mindset <laughs> i need a drink okay somebody's taking something Somebody could be overdosing or overdosed or something. Somebody's like, they can't live to see this like hell happen to them. Ten of Cups fell right on top of the Empress. Somebody, somebody knows that your destiny is here for you. Look at this energy and look at this energy. Over here, you got the King and Queen of Swords, the Empress to the Emperor. Both of you are coming up as the High Priestess, the Hierophant, very high vibrational people, two very spiritual people intuitively, two of cups coming into union, the seven of wands, the ancestors are um, coming in. You've both taken a leap of faith. It's your faith that sustains you. This person is your real king of wands. Somebody was cloaking themselves by way of the seven of cups, the illusions, okay, four of pentacles wanting to hold you back, 
toilet and labor, somebody could be watching you. Somebody refused to walk away. Somebody was told this was going to work. Somebody lost a whole bunch of money. You got a whole bunch of people that put a lot of money in just for one human being and your energy. If you don't know how powerful you are, if you don't know you chosen by God after something like this, baby, you coming up as the ace of swords, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Show me what else I need to see, please and thank you. Cannot make it up. You're coming up as the Empress. Spirit is like, let it be known that you are the true and real Empress. These people are lost. They don't know what to do. The practitioner, like, I don't even know. I just heard 80,000. 80,000 is what they were promised. So this practitioner could have got other people involved. I cannot make it up. Eight of Cups represents the 80,000. Okay. Eight of Cups is running. Not walking, running away. Abandoning these people. Abandoning the whole group, the situation, every man for himself. Three of Wands, this person could be traveling to a distance because we didn't even get into the masculine's bloodline and lineage. This is just the feminine. Whoever you are, divine feminine, queen of swords. Okay, empress energy, high priestess energy. Ace of Cups energy chosen by the divine to do something great. The natural world needs the both of you to do something. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, a gift to the natural world by way of the truth. Whatever this is. Okay. This is your lineage. We didn't even get into this masculine's lineage because this masculine's lineage is whooping ass as well. Because what you go through, he goes through. Okay. <laughs> Show me this masculine's lineage. Hold on. Let me pull from the yellow cards. Show me this masculine's lineage. Because his ancestors are pissed. Somebody comes from Indian descent. Somebody could be Latino. Somebody could be African. Somebody got a whole bunch of bloodlines. Look, they're not playing. They're not playing. When I see the moon like this, I think of, I think of their ancestors are like cloaked, hidden. They're sneaking up on these people energetically. Why is the moon here for this man? Can my, I cannot make it up. Somebody did not want somebody to come towards you. Somebody tried to stop this person with some type of adversity some type of natural catastrophe, rainstorm, uh, tornado, earthquake. This is what they wanted. They're like, if these two people come into contact, they're going to be very, very powerful. They wanted this person hidden from you so that you would not figure it out three of wands so that you could not move towards this person. They couldn't move towards you. But now the ancestors are saying these people can't leave. So if they're trying to travel they could be having natural catastrophes, car accidents, uh, earthquake, rainstorm, tornado, something. Something's going to come for these people in a very supernatural way. Because now they're dealing with a whole bunch of dark ass forces that they can't control. Lord have mercy. Show me this person's ancestors. Five of Wands, his ancestors are whooping ass in the spirit realm. But they're doing it in a way that's like a sneak attack. Like they can't, they don't know what's attacking them. The moon is like hidden. <laughs> It's giving me like mission impossible. I cannot make it up. Listen, this is your person. Did I not just tell you? Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Divine match. Somebody could have a lot of water in their chart. Cancer and energy. Show me this person's ancestors. This masculine's ancestors. Yeah, they not playing. Whatever your person's ancestors are doing, they have already had a conversation with your ancestors and they're not playing about the two of y'all coming together. Justice is here. I just heard until every single last person has been eliminated, they will not rest. When you have to wake your ancestors up from resting in peace, okay, to come and fight a battle like this, you better know that they come in to get it done. They ain't got time to play. They're not coming to play footsies and sing kumbaya. They're not coming to do any of that. They're coming to bring that spiritual mother freaking work. Anything else, spirit? I can't make it up. Why 
why? Because they're saying, you about to get this ten of cups, you and your person. So whatever somebody thought that they were doing, waiting, watching, praying and wanting, they can hold on to that little bitty strand of hair or whatever they got, trying to bind you to some type of demonic force or something, like an entity attachment. It's over. You had so many people in your energy. Divine Feminine. Who Lord. Listen. This is the message. Close this door, Spirit, please. And thank you. Thank you for this information. Peace to the Divine Ancestors for allowing me to channel this energy. Shout out to the angels that are fighting on behalf of these two people. Whooping ass and taking mother freaking names. I'm just like, woo. This practitioner is terrified. They ended up having their own personal pursuits outside of what was requested of them by this group. This person eventually wanted you for themselves. Somebody was like a lot of people had individual motives. Wow. This is the message. Listen, if this resonated with you, I'm happy about that. You know why? Because I feel like you really needed answers. I do. I do. Somebody just needed confirmation. Like, I know I'm not tripping. He real close with his cousin. Yes, baby. He's He was having sex with a whole bunch of people in the family. But if it's any consolation to help you call upon the law of forgiveness, they have been manipulating this person since he was a child. You got adults that have been using them like this as a child. They didn't even know what they were doing was wrong. Okay. So just find it in your heart to forgive this person because they're already broke. Somebody ain't got no money to do no more magic. They're waiting to see if you're dead. They don't know why whoever this person is, the cousin, sister, cousin, friend, lover, uh, whatever. Okay. They got other sacrifices in line. But again, remember, they needed power in order to do this. And these people lost all of their power trying to play in your energy, including the practitioner. Somebody's going to catch that. Somebody's not. I just suggest that if this is not your story, leave it, please. Easy peasy, nice and greasy for somebody else to take, baby, because this is a whole bunch going on. And that's real. I love y'all. All my information is down below. I got requests for personal readings. I don't know if y'all know, I'm not doing personal readings. <laughs> People just sending me money like, here. I'm like, okay, listen, I'm not doing personal readings. Um, y'all just sent the money. I know a lot of you do need some answers. Okay. So I'm going to do my best to get those personal readings done. But uh, I got people that just sent money. Okay. Out of the blue, a lot of money, a lot of personal requests. So just know that it's about five days behind, honey. If you don't get a response right away, I'm just being obedient to the ancestors and obedient to source of all things. Okay. Um, if this resonated with you though, and you'd like to donate to the channel, it is greatly appreciated. It's not required. But I do appreciate that, okay? I really do. If you just want to donate love and light with the hopes that this platform grows to the capacity that it needs to grow to, that in itself is absolutely a beautiful donation. I receive that and I pray that the Most High blesses you tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold from now until forever. That is my prayer for you. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Peace be with you.